All right, what's going on, y'all? So y'all know why I'm here. Y'all already know what time it is. Broken Games HDR. This box just arrived about five minutes ago from FedEx. Shout out to the FedEx guy. I've been waiting all morning. It said it left the facility like 12 o'clock. You know, I thought it would be here sooner, but it's finally here. My PlayStation 5. It's crazy to think. I'm waving this knife in front of y'all like I'm about to kill somebody. It's crazy to think. Just six, seven years ago, I made the exact same video unboxing the PlayStation 4. Y'all should go check out that video just for, you know, throwback, nostalgia purposes. And time flew. Like, we were, we just joined that generation and I was unboxing the PlayStation 4. And now the PlayStation 5 is here and I'm going to unbox this one. So this is the one I bought directly from uh, PlayStation, you know, the direct PlayStation store. I have some others that I purchased, but those are not going to be here. Uh, probably a few, like a week to a few weeks. So yeah, I'm glad I got this direct from PlayStation and uh, yeah, I'm ready. So let's go ahead and open this on up. So this one that I'm unboxing, this is actually supposed to be the digital uh, PlayStation. Okay, because I bought the, uh, my cat is in front of the camera. She better not knock my camera down. Um, so I bought the digital PlayStation from, uh, directly from uh, Sony. And the other ones I bought, like from Target, those are the physical. Now I saw an article, I saw an article about a guy who bought the digital one from PlayStation, but they put a physical in the box. I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky, but, but let's see, either way, I'm fine with that. Down the line, I probably, I probably, I'm probably gonna get another physical PlayStation. Just, just uh, uh, maybe put in my living room. Maybe switch where I have the digital and the physical one. I'll probably have one at my desk and one in my in my living room. So we'll see. Callie, get off the camera. All right, come in. All right, so we gonna stand her up. People saying they want me to reenact the uh, the thumbnail from six seven years ago. I think I'll think about it. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. Just for you know, just for tradition purposes. Okay, so PlayStation Five di digital edition. Uh, you know, typical box. You know, it, it's a box. Um, lightning speed. You know, SSD. Breathtaking immersion with the Dual Sense. Stunning games. Uh, even they they advertise 8K on the box, even though you know barely anything is really going to be 8K. It's just 8K support. It doesn't even support uh, support 8K out the out the box anyway. 4K, you know, 120. Y'all know to deal with that. HDR, disc free console. All right, where'd my damn knife go? I'm already, okay, there we go. I'm already losing it. Already, already losing. It. All right, we gonna break. We gonna break that seal. Oh man. Okay, put that right there. All right. So let's check out what we got in here. So in this little, move this to the side real quick. So in this little case, we have the DualSense controller. Y'all saw I already made a, the video about the DualSense. I already have one other one. Um, so there's that. There's the USB-C. Cable. The th weird thing about the, the, the cable, the USB-C cable, is when I bought the DualSense by itself, it didn't come with one. But the PlayStation console with the Dual Se DualSense com comes with one. So that's interesting. They should probably sell all the DualSense with a USB-C cable. So yeah, there's there. that. Got the AC power for the PlayStation 5. Whole bunch of manuals and paperwork. 
underneath here. We got the stand, the 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 also the also controversial stand that it takes a whopping 20 seconds to connect. The controversial stand. We already know about that drama. Uh, HDMI cable should be HDMI 2.1, I believe they confirmed. And that's all that's in this this little mini mini box. All right, let's put that to the side and let's get to the console. There we go. Slide that off. All right. And let's take a look. And yup, there it goes. That thing's tall. That thing is definitely tall. And they did not make a mistake for me. They gave, they definitely gave me the discless uh, version of the PlayStation 5. So that thing is, yeah, that's a tower. That's, that's definitely a tower. I like the design. I like how it looks from, I like how it looks from the, from like, like that, right? That looks really nice, right? I'm not going to lie. Like, it looks very odd from from this angle looking at it directly that looks it looks very odd not that i care about how this thing physically looks i'm just pointing it out it's not a big deal to me i just care about the games and how the and and what this thing is capable of i'm not one of those caught up in the aesthetic of the console i don't care how big it is and all that stuff so yeah um but it's very presentable like that that looks pretty cool it's definitely a tower we know it's like the biggest modern console to date So yeah, got the two uh, USB 3.0s, the, the HDMI, the AC, the Ethernet cable, uh, and of course the USB-C and the normal USB-C, and then the power button, power button down here at the bottom. Yeah, that's that's the unboxing. That is it. Listen, so talk about what what my plans are okay it's just to play games <laughs> yeah i don't know why i'm even talking like i'm gonna do something extra listen so i'm a, i am going to do a playthrough a live playthrough on uh with spider-man miles morales demon souls i probably won't do one i like there's certain games i like to enjoy just playing you know with the with solitude and peace without live streaming there's certain games i like to live stream spider-man miles morales definitely gonna be one of those games i live stream Demon Souls, not. Um, I think I'm actually gonna play. I'm gonna like get that Sackboy game. I think that's a game I want me and my wife to play. I think that's something cool we could both play together. I'll probably try out that uh, try out that um, damn Astrobot game just because it's a packing game. Uh, see what it see what it's what it's like. Um, yeah, try. I'm I'm probably gonna after Miles Morales. I'm probably gonna be like real radio silent. I'm probably just going to be spending all my time beating a whole bunch of games. And yeah, I'm not going to be on Twitter like the rest of these dudes are doing a fanboy wars. I'm going to be all in just playing games. There's there's like and even though, yes, I typically don't want don't like and don't care about playing old games. There's a few. Well, not a few. Let me just say there's one. There's one game I do want to try. And that's Days Gone. And that's because y'all I hated I. I ended up hated, hating Days Gone because it was buggy, it was a mess, you know, the, it was sub 30 frames, you know, it just it just wasn't a, a great package, you know, but I looked at that footage, that 4K 60 HDR, it looks like a brand, like almost like a brand new game, it looks so good, so I'm going to give that game another chance since I never ended up beating it, I'm going to drop it, but I don't know, I still don't know if I'm going to even beat it because that gameplay was still mid to me, but other than that, I don't think I'm going back to any old games. I'm not going back to any old games. So, yeah. Uh, listen, y'all hit that like button. Um, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I'm live streaming, uh, anytime I upload a video. Uh, follow me everywhere, Twitter, uh, you know, um, Twitch, all, all, all those places. Y'all hit that like button, share the video, like it, all that. 
All right, we about to. Uh, y'all, y'all already know I'm gonna be doing the reviews on these games and all that good stuff. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all know what to expect from me. Um, hit the join button to support the channel, and uh, check out Weapon Wheel this week. Um, one of our guests is. Uh, I'm not sure who the other guest is, is gonna be, but our 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 confirmed guest said they would be down to come on. Is we're gonna have Colt Eastwood on. So you know, y'all y'all check that out. Should be a great conversation. Uh, I'm not sure who the other guest is going to be, but this is going to be an exciting week. A lot to talk about game-wise. Uh, so finally, you know, all these fanboys talk about all this other stuff that don't matter. Hopefully they shut up and actually play some games because y'all got plenty of stuff to play now. Okay, There's, you should be diving into your consoles, whatever it is. And yeah, I'm going to make a video probably like just booting this thing up, you know, my first boot up and... You know, going through the UI, even though, yes, I tip, I don't really care about how the UI looks. I'm just going to make a video doing an overview. You know, all that good stuff. All right? So, I'll catch you all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.